Oh, hi there. Welcome to my channel. I am Leah and I am back after five months. I took a brief hiatus. I'm not really sure why. We'll get into it in the video and I'll put this makeup on. I tried a bunch of stuff that I have found lying around my house, either unopened or just kind of forgotten about. Um, so if you want to see what I've been up to the last while and how I did this makeup, stay tuned. Well, they say it's like riding a bike, so here we go. So today I'm just gonna try some stuff that I've gotten in the time that I've been away from YouTube and haven't actually tried yet, or forgot about, or just realized I had and found literally under a couch cushion. For foundation, I am trying this CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made in Buff Beige. Um, I actually haven't tried this one yet. I've had it for a little while, so I'm not sure if it's gonna be a right match since I'm a little bit tan, but we'll see how we do. All right, so let's catch up. Where have I been? Where have you been? How's it been going? Um, the world's completely insane. That might be an okay match. Might be a little bit light, but for our all intents and purposes this evening, I think it'll be just fine. Well, so where have I been? Um, I think the last time I made a video was like four months ago. And in that time, everything has completely gone bonkers in the world. It started with my break being because my husband was having surgery and I got sick with some weird bronchial infection. So I was down and out for like three weeks with the weirdest longest cough. Um, and then my husband had surgery. So I took time off to take care of him. He basically had an abdominal surgery, which like split him open from side to side. So he couldn't move and, um, slept in a recliner for like two months but he's much better now he's feeling really good you know this foundation looks kind of nice it's matte but it's supposed to be matte um blends in nicely and actually it's a pretty darn good match so i played nurse for a few months um and then of course covid hit and i wasn't really feeling like doing much during that time you know, with the global pandemic and total emergency in the world, I just, I couldn't bring myself to want to do anything with makeup. Like, it's been a very long time. In the time that I've been away, I've probably put on, like, full makeup maybe three times. Um, a lot of it, I know, has to do with I'm working from home, like, so I don't go to the office. But then a lot of it also has to do with I just did not have the will or the want to put makeup on. I don't know what it was. Maybe it's because every time I did go out, even though we didn't go out at all, we were wearing masks. So I figured what's the point? And I just felt like there was just more important things in the world than me. Me. Fortunately, I live in the middle of the country in a pretty sparsely populated state. So it didn't hit us too hard here, but my grandma got it, which she fortunately got a really mild case of it and she's fully recovered, but we haven't been able to see her since January and she doesn't hear very well. So when we do call her and talk on the phone once a week or whenever um, we can, and of course she can't see her phone to dial us. So we have to call her nurse and then her nurse has to call us when somebody's in there, but they were on a weird quarantine thing where like people would only go in once or twice a day for her like outside of meal times. It was just this whole hassle. So now they're finally starting to open up the nursing homes for visitation, but they only do visitation Monday through Friday, nine to five and I work. So I still haven't been able to see my grandma even after she's been sick and is now better. Um, but they did, you know, it was really scary when my aunt called and told me that because although they did tell us that she seemed like she had a pretty mild case, she wasn't feeling badly, it made me really kind of scared and worried for a while. I think until we found out that she got her final negative test, it was very like scary even though she wasn't that sick. Like in my heart, I was like, she's going to get better. But then of course there's the, what if she doesn't? And I wasn't ready for that yet. I love my grandma and I would miss her very, very much. 
So I know we've been very fortunate in my family that my grandma was really the only one affected and Mike and I were both still able to keep our jobs and um, not have to you know worry about our financial situation so throughout that whole mess of everything we were completely and very blessed i'm also going to try this maybelline brow fast sculpt eyebrow gel um because i've been looking for a new one that i like and hopefully this will be the one and then in the midst of all of that um black lives matter is back in the news which about freaking time and I'm glad to see the movement actually starting to get some traction. Um, we had some really nice protests and walks in um, my hometown which of course the first night devolved into a bit of a riot situation. It's it's what happens. Stuff's replaceable, human lives are not, things are important that need to be paid attention to and I'm glad that they're getting that attention now. For concealer, I'm going to be trying this e.l.f. Camo Concealer, hydrating the Hydrating Camo Concealer in Light Peach. And that is the super basic rundown of where I've been for the last four or five months. In other news, um, my son is going to his first music lesson tomorrow night. Um, so we've got this music school in town that's not just like basic music lessons, it's called Elevate Rock School and it's like the School of Rock. If you've seen that movie with my hall pass Jack Black where the kids learn um, like to play guitars, bass, I think they run them through drums, piano, guitar, bass, and vocals for the first couple years. So he's only four. Um, and then in two years when he goes on to the um, like next level of it he picks one to focus on and then they form little like classes that are a band so they'll pick like you know five kids that are focusing on each one of those areas and they form a band and they perform little like rock songs and they have concerts at the end of their season and I'm so excited because it's gonna be so cute I'm gonna try this dose of colors sassy sienna palettes um, I think I got it in a BoxyCharm. Um, I know I didn't purchase it, so it definitely came in some sort of subscription box. I've never used it. You can see it is untouched, and it kind of matches my shirt, which we're just going to give it a whirl. Right, so I'm starting with this one, which is oh so sassy. So that starts tomorrow night, and it's going to be the cutest thing, and I'm going to just die of ador. Oh, that's pretty nice. Um, of adorableness when he goes in there and sees that he gets to play with musical instruments because he loves music so much. We've got, um, so Mike's been in bands his entire life. Um, I've played piano from an early age and I've always been in music. Um, I'm starting to learn to play the ukulele. So we've got instruments all around the house. Like we've got a piano. He's got his own little drum set in the basement, which he is of course now outgrowing. He is four years old and he is the height and weight of an eight year old. Um, so he's going to be the biggest kid in his class. Um, but he also loves the drums and he likes to play with my ukulele and Mike's guitars. So I'm not really sure what he'll pick. I guess like, you know, time will tell. But if I had to guess, I'd say the drums because he likes to um, bang on things and likes to be loud. So that kind of fulfills both of those uh, things for him. Um, but he also loves to sing and I don't know he just he's a musical kid I'm excited so next I'm going to use this one called Brassy so who knows maybe I'll have the next superstar in my family and I can be the creepy stage mom who hangs out on the bus maybe not I don't think anybody wants that it feels so good to just sit down and do makeup again like you forget how fun it is to just play around and have fun so far these shadows are blending really nicely i would have probably never picked up this palette for myself but i kind of dig these colors so far these shades are nice i'm just keeping this one on the outer edge and then I'm going to deepen it up a little bit too with this little darker color here and I kind of want to maybe put some sparkles on it so I'll see if I can find some glitter somewhere all right so I am going to darken it up just a little bit with this one called stay sassy this dark brown shade well, that looks nice 
Um, well, and summer is officially here. It is now um, literally hot as balls in my makeup room. I've got my little tiny fan here, which doesn't do much, but just kind of moves the warm air around. We do have air conditioning, um, but this is expensive to cool a whole house, so I don't turn it up too high, although it's been like high 90s lately, so it might be, I mean, turned down to like 68 instead of 70. But summer also means I've got my garden and I'm so excited. This year for um, Mother's Day gift, Mike got me two raised bed gardens from Costco. Um, but it, I mean, technically it's four. So the box came with two square ones, two square gardens. So I have four, but what you can do is you can combine the squares, like take one of the middles out and make it two which makes them two nice really long beds so I've got a ton of veggies in um, I'm trying a bunch of things new this year um, because I'm not exactly sure where the sun is in my yard where the gardens are so I feel like I'm growing a lot of sunny things in kind of shady areas so we'll see how it goes I needed it so bad this winter I went through some wicked seasonal effective depression which is another reason why I took a pretty big break I was not having a good time this winter and early spring so I'm so glad the sun is finally here and I can like get outside and I can play outside with my kid and we can go on walks I cannot tell you how much of a like healing moment for my soul that is it just it makes a huge difference for me like I looked forward to my garden so early that I planted seeds. <laughs> I got a little tiny greenhouse for my office and I had seeds going extremely early and um, some of them are actually still growing. I had a small accident when I moved my greenhouse out to my deck to get actual sun on my plants and the wind blew it over and killed about half of the things that I was growing and then the rest of it all of their little stakes fell out so I have a whole bed of mystery tomato plants. All right, so now I'm going to take these two on the end here and just run them under my eye. So I'm very happy. And then one of my goals this, for this year was to get a pollinator garden going because, you know, we got to save the bees. If we're not doing anything else, we got to at least try to save the bees. All right, so for sparkle, I found this little Stila glitter and glow thing I got at Christmas time as a gift for myself. And it's in the shade Stylish. It's kind of light gold sparkles, I think, which will look fine. They're really pretty shimmer though. I mean, it's not shimmer, it's it's glitter, but still pretty. <laughs> Liner and lashes, I am going to bust open the Epic Ink Liner from NYX, which is kind of a staple, but I haven't used it in actual years. And then I'm gonna try this Falsies, 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 Laughlish, Falsies <laughs> Lash Lift for Maybelline. I really like this. It's a little bit drier of a formula, so it's not super wet and sticky, but it's not dry and clumpy like Better Than Sex, which is my most hated mascara. I'm going to do a little contouring with my Revolution Contour Palette. I don't think this has a shade. It's just ultra contour. This guy. And I just kind of like mix these two together. It seems to work well for me. So the other... <laughs> <laughs> big change in my life is um, I last about seven and a half inches of hair um, I've been growing it out like to the point where it was down below like I could reach it past the bottom of my bra strap but there comes a point when my hair is long where I'm just done with it I hate the feeling of wet hair touching my back so you know washing my hair in the shower on wash day and doing all of the um, product and all of that when it was on my back um, it just grossed me out to the point where I just I had it and as soon as my <laughs> like little stylist lady was able to have clients come back in I was like book me for a cut we're chopping the mane and now I'm going to try this Rimmel natural bronzer which looks a little bit on the orangey side to me now that it's not on the shelves in Target um, but we're gonna try it and see how it goes. It also might be a little too light. And I'm just gonna toast up the cheekies a little. Mm, not bad, not bad. I could, I can use this. I like that it's got just like the tiniest bit of shimmer to it. I think it's very pretty. And I'm gonna try this Flower Beauty 
flower pot blush in sweet pea who else was obsessed with this for about three days when it first came out at bath and body works um i hot secret used to work at bath and body works and i now detest this smell it's one of those scents where it takes me back to a place where i worked retail until my feet literally bled and we would have to do um, like store sets until like two or three in the morning sometimes. And I remember one time somebody dropped an entire box of glass sweet pea lotion and I, it, uh, no more. I can't stand the smell of sweet pea. Um, I did hear they were bringing in like a new version of it back though. So let's try this NYX uh, highlight. This is the high glass in Moon Glow kind of a gold color it's kind of pretty I haven't tried it yet but I figured it would kind of match the glittery glitters in my eyes Ew. Um, hmm. for something called a high glass I thought it would be just a bit more shimmery it's kind of chunky and like sticks to the texture of my skin in a way that I'm not loving and finally, we're going to be trying this L'Oreal Rouge lip color in the shade I Am Power. Because as we know, I am still on the hunt for a nude that doesn't turn completely orange on me. This one tastes good, but kind of weird. Like, like a baby product. What is it? Is there like... Yeah, something about breathing this in reminds me of Magnus being a baby. Is it baby wipes? Is it baby wipes? Mm. Yes, it might have a, a slight baby wipe essence to it. As far as finding a good nude, this might be a good one. It doesn't look completely orange. All right. Thanks, I Empower from L'Oreal. All right, gang, that's all she wrote. Um, thanks for sticking around with me for my hiatus for no reason, but lots of reasons, and I am so glad to be back. Stay tuned, I've got some Get Ready With Murder filmed. That'll be coming up hopefully in the next few days after I get this one edited and posted. And um, I've got some other ideas coming up. I've got some hair updates with some new products, and I've got more makeup that I haven't even tried yet. But for now, I want to just thank you guys for being super supportive in the time I've been gone. I've been reading all the comments of asking where I've been, if I'm going to be filming new videos, and just all of your great, great, great comments. They kept me going, and I'm very, very thankful for each and every one of you who's clicked on any of my videos and subscribed. So I hope you have a super great rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here. I love you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, 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 bye. Bye-bye.